Once you're signed into Business Importer app, go to Import To tab. Upload your Excel or CSV file from your computer or paste the Dropbox or Google Drive link here. You can also download the templates right there. Click Next. Select the sheet in case you have several of them in your file. Select the Invoice QuickBooks entity for import and match the provider labels on the left-hand side to the column headings from your import file. Here they are. In case you use the template file, all the columns will be pre-mapped for you. Also, there is no need to map all the columns. You can leave those you don't need blank. You can save your mapping for all the subsequent imports like this. And use the mapping helper on the right-hand side to see which QuickBooks fields you usually utilize. The app differentiates between several transactions based on the invoice numbers. The green status means that all the transactions were imported and you can open them using the link in the app. This is how the invoice would look and you also can see them here in QuickBooks. But in case you don't like something about it, you can always revert the import like this, specifying the reason. And that's it. Once they are reverted, they will be erased from your QuickBooks, like this. Thank you for your attention.